Now let's have a look at the second part of the question here. What if uh, the buyer, James, thinks there is a 30% only that the laptop is good? So basically the same logic. He'll take into account the probability, but now the probabilities change. So let's write them here below. The probabilities that we're dealing with of having a good laptop is going to be uh, 30%, 0 0.3, meaning that the remaining probability of a bad laptop is going to be 0 0.7. So what would be the expected value of getting a good laptop for the buyer in this case? That's what we're looking at. Well, we take into account that with 30%, he might get a good laptop. So he would be willing to pay how much he wants for the good laptop, which is 700 euros, plus the remaining probability he might get a bad laptop for which he would be willing to pay 200 euros. And if we solve the math over here, we would get in total of 350 euros, and that would be the price maximum that the buyer would be willing to pay to get a good laptop. But recall that the price of the seller, the valuation of the seller for a good laptop is 400 euros. So the price that the seller needs to get for the good laptop must be at least 400 euros. And that does not satisfy. We can see that the price of the seller is not satisfied, is not compensated, meaning the deal is not going to happen. So no sale here, no transaction. James is not going to be able to buy a good laptop. Hope this makes sense and we are done.